What's up, my fellow traders? Hope you all having an awesome day. A super quick and early update here on net gas, gold, silver, crude oil, starting with natural gas, and and we also have an inventory report released for natural gas, and that is why I'm also uploading an early video so that we can see what to expect from fundamentals as well. But let's look at technical factors first. Right here, as you can see, the price nicely pushed down, almost hitting our anchor level that was mentioned exactly yesterday. Right here, the anchor level has been hit. But let me quickly show you what I've said in my last video so that we can connect the dots from there. We have just made a new high broken above the previous high. So we can get another anchor level, which is right here and a possible pullback entry, which is very likely awesome. So as you can see, the price nicely pushing up, respecting the anchor levels with a pullbacks so right here, break of another anchor level, pullback followed by bullish candle, not a bullish engolfer. That's to, just to give you a heads up. This candle opens bit above. That is why it's not a bullish engolfer. Must engulf the previous candle with the whole body to call it a valid bullish engolfer. So as you can see, price nicely pushing up and still expecting a price to push higher. Now, don't get alarmed again and again. I'm saying that because I get tons of messages when we see some sort of pullback, start seeing the message that the net gas is now about to reverse. Now, it is not going to reverse until it's not broken below this previous anchor right here, a very small and simple rule right here. This is the previous low. And if you have not seen my video, how to trade trends and shifts, and please check that out because in that video, I teach you how to spot reversal. So right here, we are still above the anchor level as long as we are above this previous low we are still bullish so again if we have a pullback and maybe a retest of this trend line right here followed by bullish candle that would be again a very strong signal the price will likely to push higher now i'm looking at the level above in case you are brand new on this channel it is a level from where i'm now expecting some sort of pullbacks not reversal but a pullbacks which is 2.505 goes to 2.610 from where we can see some nice pullbacks possible retest of this anchor or this anchor as well before the price will push high i'm going to explain a possible retest of the neckline of double bottom in a very short while here on nemix platform so before that let's look at fundamentals here on net gas now as you can see we are getting a net gas report due to release at 3 30 p.m uk time i'm in dubai it's going to release in three hours and 16 minutes now at this point right as you can see the forecast is more than expected means it's going to be bearish for natural gas now it doesn't mean this report can reverse the price but it means it can likely form some sort of pullback if there is a reaction it can reject from 50 ema followed by bullish candle if we have that that is fine so if you have a bearish report if it's more than expected, in that case, we can get some pullback and that will be a chance for another entry reason and that will be a chance for another entry and buy at the dip but with condition. Again, as you can see, it is more than expected means it's going to be bearish for natural gas. So if it's more than expected means we can get some sort of pullback. Now here on Nemix, as you can see, it is still not a valid bullish engulfer but still a bullish candle right here. I'm still waiting for the price to break above this neckline of a double bottom major double bottom on daily time frame as well for the price to continue to push higher so if we have bearish report let's say we have a bearish report doesn't mean the price start to push lower and i don't trade on news if there's a bearish report i don't start selling it could be a chance it could be a pullback because we are looking at four hour time frame we are not taking trades on one minute five minutes time frame where some traders out there they just try to capture a news candle and that is again the brokers open the spread that sometime you don't even make good money there so what i'm expecting just a pullback on four hour time frame it could be above 50 EM, it could be a deep pullback then price will likely to spike up not bearish unless we are above 50 and 20 EM, and unless we are above this previous anchor level next up we have on oanda now on oanda if this candle turns out to be a bullish engulfing candle according to my rules that will be a valid bullish engulfing entry now we have this bullish candle which is a technical signal and if we have a fundamentals that is also turns out to be a bullish report let's say the forecast is less than expected then in that case the bullish and technical signal will align and it will likely to push up i've already made a video how to trade market in confluence with technical and fundamental signals the videos is also in my playlist feel free to check that out you can also see the card up there if you want to click that video you can check how to trade fundamentals with technical signals. so if this candle turns to be a bullish engulfer with 
a bullish news as well in that case price will actually push up but it must close as a bullish candle in that case it will become a swing low bullish engulfing entry we can expect the price to push up at least one atr and then we can manage it to two atr it's totally up to your till to its recent high let's see how it goes once this candle is closed we are good to go for our trades next up we have gold gold is now forming ascending triangle pattern as you can see right here kind of a triangle pattern and right here all i'm waiting for the break of this pattern if we have if we are broken below this ascending triangle pattern in that case that will be a possible signal that price will likely to push down to this anchor level which is right here as you can see the number in blue now very important the break is very important which we are waiting for now if you if we are broken and close above and close is important not just a wicks but a close is very important if the price closes above or below this ascending triangle pattern in that case the price will likely to fall to this area which i'm ex expecting if the price close below this pattern i'll keep a stop loss above these wicks and take profit you can go one to one initially and then you can manage it till this recent low so let's see how this goes all we are waiting for the breakout with patience once we are broken above or below we are good to take over trades and again take your trades on your own risk it is just my opinion and nothing should be taken as any sort of trading advice hey on silver exactly the same we all we are waiting for the breakout above or breakout below as you can see we are getting a similar kind of pattern as gold but if you are broken below will price will like to fall to this level which is right here 25.57 goes to 26.54 from where i will look into and to my next buy trade. If we are broken above, we are looking at upside and the level above, which is right up there from where we will be looking to enter a counter trend sell trade. So 31.27 goes to 31.97 from where we can start to look for the bearish trade. But all we need to see a breakout above or below to look at this or this level. So wait and see and let's see how it break out. Next up, we have crude oil, a possible double bottom minor a pattern. And if this candle turns to be a pin bar or 3 8 2 candle, in that case, we'll have a buy signal. And I'm expecting a price to push up from a first target will be 180. And the bigger target, as you can see, that looks something like this. This trade was mentioned yesterday with my live session members. Right here, as you can see, this was the entry right here with the price from the double bottom. And it is also mentioned in my yesterday's YouTube video. And you should know that as well that it was a valid entry conditions for now price pushing higher and we can we can expect the price to hit 50 ema and from 50 ema expect some sort of rejection if we have a bearish engulfer i'm gonna go short and we might get a major double bottom for the price to push higher i'm bullish for crude oil not bearish as long as we are above these high yes we can expect some sort of moves like this before the price will likely to push up to the next level of resistance which is right up there 72.23 goes up to 73.08 from where we can see some pullbacks and then a continuation towards the upside so overall long term we are bullish but it is a trade once the target is hit i'll exit and look for my next entry condition so that's it for commodities guys so we're getting value if yes give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new so we can all trade together and trade efficiently hope you trade green see you guys in the next one till then take care